That's good. Good morning! Today is Sunday and it's the morning, which means you don't have responsibilities that would prevent you from drinking in the morning like a normal person would. Since it's Sunday and we have a busy life, we're an adult and so are you, we gotta cook food for the week. It's meal prep Sunday, which is not that fun. <laughs> Because you just make a food and then you're gonna eat it all week and be tired of eating it. But if you're looking to save your your economy points, dollars for other things like philanthropy or micro investing in Indonesia, then maybe you want to save money on lunches. So I'm gonna show you like a typical thing that I would make for the week. So. I like to keep it pretty simple. So the, today's protein for the week is going to be uh, slow cooker pepperoncini beef. Uh, this is the easiest recipe uh, imaginable. I would be amazed if you could f*** this one up. Uh, but you know, I've, I've doubted you in the past and you've, you've proved me wrong. But yeah, this is, it's, it's so easy, uh, so we're just going to do it. The first ingredient is optional. It's an onion. You can completely omit this if you want. I don't think it impacts the flavor too much, but there'll be little bits of onion in it, which looks nice. So, half an onion. We're just gonna put it in our slow cooker, a crock pot. I got the rival crock pot stoneware slow cooker. I rent this house. I think we just found it here. I didn't buy it. I got some sliced golden Greek pepper chinas and you can see they're all sliced up which is nice smell glorious yeah I, I really like Jeff's Naturals brand because Jeff is probably a pretty okay guy and his food tastes good so thanks Jeff take the jar Brian included and dump it in the crock pot okay that was one jar now we're gonna chop up our beef a little bit I've got two choice beef MD cab boneless bottom round roasts. I got them buy one get one free so they're pretty cheap. Uh, you can make this recipe with any kind of roasting like pot roast, chuck roast, whatever. You just need a big fatty hunk of beef. And like don't be alarmed that there's a bunch of fat there because that's just going to render down and it's going to taste good. So we'll, we'll take that. And we just need to get it into slightly smaller chunks. If you were feeling just like the laziest person on earth, you could omit this step as well, but it'll take longer to cook. But that's the beauty of slow cooking, because a lot of times you just set it and forget it and come back like a day later or whatever, and you magically have a pile of wonderful food. I'm gonna take our beef chunks. So I put them in the crock pot. Um, making about four pounds of beef which is honestly like if you were meal prepping for one you probably should not consume that much beef you probably have heart disease instantaneously but i cook for my family so i'll probably freeze some of this too all right so we got our big chunks of beef i have to try and press them down as much as possible because you you want them to be submerged in the pepper brine then we're gonna add another jar same thing over the top. You can add herbs, spices, or whatever, but it's not gonna make really that much of a difference at all. Because the pepperoncini flavor is so strong uh, that like you probably won't notice much else. Uh, one thing that I do wanna say about this is that if you don't like pepperoncinis, you should still try this because it doesn't tap like the sharp, overwhelming flavor. It really mellows out into like a slight bite to the meat, but it doesn't taste at all like raw peppers or pickled peppers. So, we'll plug her in. And we will set it to low. Uh, you, if you're on a time crunch, you can try cooking it at high heat, but it won't be as tender. Um, sometimes I like start at high just to get it going and then bump it down to low as soon as it looks like it's hot. And I think that's what I'm gonna do today. You, I mean, it's done. Like, it'll be cooked in a couple of hours, 
but it, it starts to get really tender and nice at like the six to eight hour range. So we'll check on it periodically. But for now, you can go about your day. Go to church. Don't drink beer. Now that your slow cooker is kind of steamy on the top, you want to smell that too, Vinny? Nope, no interest. We'll turn it down to low. It's gonna be a while. High five. Listen here, dick butts. Just cook some rice. And if you can't cook some rice, then you need to f off. Gotta cook some rice. The rice is done. I cooked it. It's brown rice. Yeah. I think the beef's like pretty much done. Oh yeah, it's done. It's all bubbly. You can see it's super tender. It's like eight hours, I think, or more. Eight to nine hours is the time it's been cooking for, I think. If we just get some veggies, it'll be a complete meal. Let me just cook some of those, I guess. Like some Brussels sprouts. I've cooked them before. Did we film it? I don't know. If you don't know how to do this, we did it in some other video, but there. Did you do you finished your meal prep, it only took all day. Some rice, put it in. Don't want too much rice, that's not good for you. So they say. Brussels sprouts, those are good for you. If you don't like them, you should just cook them better. Then you probably will like them. Otherwise, you're probably just an idiot. And finally, some beef. It's stewed all day, that's why everything took so long. Here you got some nice beef, a big scoop of that, pop it on top. And that's like your lunch for the week, honestly. It wasn't that hard. Let's give that beef a taste. I've had it many times before, there's no way it doesn't taste any different. There's no way it does, it does taste different. Tender, nice flavor, perfect. You can do this with any meat and it tastes so good. That's how you be a responsible adult and make lunch for the week. Should have made the beans and corn too, but uh, maybe another day. I like it. Bye now.